there is a, a, a part of the poem, uh, of the Carl's Jr. poem, uh, that says, pointing fingers is pointless. Macho men and seductive women are boys and girls living out the lies we were taught. Um, and I think when it comes to this issue particularly, uh, there is a lot of finger pointing. There's a lot of whose blame is it. And especially particularly with trafficking, um, there is a lot of pointing at the Johns and the pimps, and understandably so. I get that. And, and, and I think that there needs to be stricter laws punishing uh, that side of things and not the, the women engaged in it. But I think there also needs to be an understanding that this didn't come out of nowhere. You know, it is hard as a male growing up in a culture like ours to think rightly about women. You know, and it's like when you understand that the, the perv or whatever, first of all, like the stereotypical mustache wearing weirdo driving a van, you know, like that's not a perv. Uh, like people who engage in these things are from all kind of backgrounds. They're, they're, they're people that you work with. They're people that look like good, regular citizens um, who've been trying to live up to the cultural expectation to be good folks, but then they're addicted to pornography or they're addicted to sex and, and they're sneaking out their houses and, and, and engaging in prostitution without their families even knowing, right? And um, yes, they are the perpetrators, but they're also the victims because from childhood, they were thrown advertisements. They, like, they were brainwashed by the culture that they grew up in that taught them to think so, so wrongly about women, and myself included, you know? Like, that's one thing. Whenever I talk about any issue of injustice, I never want to be like, these are the bad guys, look at, I'm telling you what's right. It's like, yo, I think my thinking about relationships and women is so messed up. You know, because I've seen too many billboards. I watch too many movies. You know what I'm saying? And I'm working through all of that. And I don't want to, when I'm looking at an issue of injustice, I'm not trying to, to, to look who's the good guys and who's the bad guys. I'm trying to find what's the problem, who's hurting in what ways, you know, and how can we bring healing to everyone involved on all sides of it. Yes, of course we want to we want to save children and young girls who are abducted and raped. Absolutely. But we also want to restore the broken men who um who who are addicted to sex so much so that they are risking their health. They are risking their freedom uh just to take part in something that they don't know how to get free from because their 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 mind has been so messed up by everything they fed. We should have compassion for that too. You know, and so understanding like, hey, it's not about pointing fingers, it's about bringing justice to a situation and restoring people to their full humanity.